Free to Succeed, Season 2, Raid Shadow Legends. Happy Halloween Edition. And the birds came back today edition. We haven't seen the birds in a, in a couple weeks, it seems like. We're kind of wondering what was going on, but the birds came back this morning, so... Yay, Halloween. Happy Halloween to us. Um, Alright, so... Seeing that there's not much going on in the game <laughs> uh, for Halloween, and I've kind of been wanting to do this again anyway, we are going to compare our account... Today is episode 359 of, of this season of Free to Succeed. We're going to go back and go through episode 359 of the first season of Free to Succeed and just kind of compare the accounts and see uh, see what all we got going on versus what we had going on back then. I, we, we did this once before at like, I think maybe 250. And I've just been kind of curious again how, how it stacks up. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, real quick... If, there, if there's even any catching up to do. I don't really think there is. I think we've we've just done Arena. We've done our Siege. We're, we're pushing Doom Tower. We have to put in some Hydra Keys again. Um, for the new, you know, new week. We've done our Faction Wars. I think we're just doing a lot of the normal stuff. I have, I have reconsidered the Fusion. Um... I don't know. I'm still thinking about the fusion. So we'll see what in, what ends up happening there. But um, I, I, yeah, it, we'll talk about that later. Um, but anyway, let, let's uh, let's let's pop over real quick to the episode and see. I wonder if I should do this in the in the other layout because I'm going to be in front of myself here. I'm I'm <laughs> so freaking it'll be fun. I'm really more interested in like what's going on in the account. So let me get to. Free to succeed. Ooh, what was that? Was that clan boss? Are these clan boss numbers? Looks like we were collecting ultra nightmare rewards. Yeah, we were collecting ultra nightmare rewards. So that's some. How about a look at the? Oh, this was before this. Th so this was my clan boss team for a while. I am. Um, yeah, that was my clan boss team for a while. And we would have had to run that in the video because quick battle wasn't a thing yet. Yep. All right. Here's a quick look at my roster. At least a brief look. So I think that's the top of it. So we've got Vizix up there. We've got Tormund, Mountain King, Lady Kimmy. I miss my Lady Kimmy, dude. There's an Astralon. Uh... Narma? Is that her name? The one, This one right here? Bad L. Nice. Do we scroll any? I think, I think we do scroll a little bit. Let's see. We'd have to switch Bad L around so much for that to work. So there's Duchess. We did have a Geo. We had a God Seeker. God Seeker would be pretty nice on this account. Stagnite, Seeker, Vrask, Occult Brawler, lots of 60 champs. Okay, that was the end of the 60. So technically I could count how many level 60 champs we had. Let's do that real quick. 3, 6, 9, 12. We'd have to, sw we'd have to switch Bad L around so much for that to work. 15, 18. 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 37, 38. So we had 38 six-star champs. Let's check our account real quick and just see how we compare. Makage six-star, I don't know if she counts because she just came as a six-star. So let's, let's, let's hold off before we count her. How many is in a row here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13, 26, 39, 40, 41. So pretty close, actually. That's strange. That's that's We're, we're pretty close. We've done a little bit more on this account. Um, but pretty close, actually. Interesting. Uh, looks like we're doing another clan boss run, which sometimes you just had to do. 
So there's not a, a ton else to compare it to. Really, it's just it's we, it's just clan boss. We did get a look at the roster. As far as like my resources that were piled up, I don't think I ever hit the number of resources on my old free to succeed as I do on this account. We we hit a lot of silver. We do a bit more farming. We're level 87 here. We were level 82 in the old episode. Um we have done especially in the last month and a half, 2 months, we have played this account pretty aggressively. We've been we kind of, we kind of did a swing back around into like really being into it and we've been doing a lot of grinding. Um so we're quite a few levels ahead of where we were. 87, 82 to 87 is pretty significant. Seems like only five levels, but it takes a long time to get levels at this point. So we've done a significant more amount of playing. Significantly higher amount of playing. Um. So yeah, pretty interesting. I would like to be able to go in and see dungeon times and dungeon teams and stuff. But it looks like this was a clan boss episode. We could try... Here's episode 360. Here, let's pull this back up. See if there was anything in episode 360 that was of any interest to us. Rolling gear. We'll go through the index a little bit. This was a Dark Fey team. Again, Lady Kimmy would make my life so much easier right now. Yep, there, there's, there's the victory. Okay. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to do like the full blown comparison because I can't just go. I can't log into the account at the time and snoop around, which would be pretty cool. Um, but it does seem as though we are quite a bit ahead of of where we were last time. So I don't know if that's as far as the quality of champs. You know, we we had a lot of different champs there. We had we had the Kimmy, we had the Duchess. I didn't look like we had our second Duchess yet. At some point in that account, there was a second Duchess that was going to show up. Um, Bad L, Astralon. I, I miss Astralon. He's one of my favorites. Kimmy and Astralon. I'm trying to think of the champs that I missed the most from that account, at least that I saw in that in that screenshot. Probably Kimmy, Astralon, and Tormin. I miss Tormin as well. I really like Tormin. But that's pretty interesting. Only a few more six stars on this account, but it's just different. Just different, man. It's just different over here. Uh, the, the the quality and the champs that they've like given us and, and that have been infusions has gone up quite a bit. Which I think is why... 15 bucks for one summon, huh? Crazy. That's crazy. It's actually crazy. Um... Oh, he's a crunchy boy. He's so happy down there. I've, I'm, I'm hearing some mixed feelings about her. And I just got back to where all my resources were like stacked up again. I'm, I'm about at 150 ancients again. We're, uh, we're back in double digit sacreds. Uh, we've got over 50 million silver. Our gems are up over 4,000. Like we're sitting in a real good spot right now as far as our resources go. That will change if we do this fusion. And if we don't do this fusion, then we really get to stack. And we get to focus on, on the stuff we want to do. I need to gear this guy. I'm having a hard time settling on some gear for him. I know that long term, I want to get him in like full protection. I just, as much as I have here, I don't have a lot of good protection gear. I, I, I feel like I would be... Like, I pulled that this morning. I feel like I would be forcing him into protection, and he would really suffer for it right now. So, which probably means I need to sell some of that. If, 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 if a lot of that I'm not willing to put on him, then I probably need to get rid of it. Um, so maybe I'll plug it into the optimizer in a bit and see what I think we can make happen. 
but otherwise I'm, I'm wondering if he's just going to end up in you know a situation like my wither where like she's really good and she's got some killer stats but she's just in broken pieces for now uh, that might end up be end up being what happens to him so yeah i gotta get him geared and then i gotta get i still kind of want to build build shyak and seeker i've had a few people say i need to get her built so that i can do the iron twins team that is her three pain keepers and geo she her block damage is only one turn. It's my understanding you need a two-turn block damage for that. So like Rosh card or Helicath or something like that. Uh, I don't know anything about a Demitha three pain keeper, one Geo team for Iron Twins. So if anybody wants to enlighten me on the stats required for that, um, I would appreciate it because I'm I'm not understanding really how that would work. Like I can I can sort of see how it could work in my head, but I feel like. I feel like she has to be real fast for it. I don't, I, and even then, I don't know. I don't know how it would work long term. So, let me know this. Let me know how that how that's supposed to work. Because I've got plenty of books. I can I can book her. I don't. She shouldn't need to be six starred for it either. So I should just be able to put some gear on her and do it if it's doable. And I do have the other pain keepers down here. I've got I've got my second and third pain keeper, so I technically have what I need for it, if it's a, actually a thing. But again, I'm not I'm not seeing how it would how it would work without that second turn of block damage. Even if she extends it for everyone else, like it's it's it'll be gone from her. You know what I mean? And I can't even remember if you can extend block damage. So. Because I run. The three pain keeper geo uh rosh card i think it is on my main account so like i'm familiar with the concept but i don't know how it works with demitha i've seen a double demitha do i have a double demitha did i did i pull a second demitha a while back and that's what people are talking about why am i thinking maybe i pulled a second demitha that i did that just popped into my head right now I totally forgot I have a second one. Okay. She will need to be three star ascended, but she she shouldn't need levels, right? She sh they should just need books. Okay. Well, never mind then. I'll uh. I'll look into getting that set up soon because I'm just kind of tired of trying to deal with Iron Twins. Like I said, we've had some success on some affinities. We've got our fifteen clear here. We've got it on Void, but it's just such a. Such a shit. There's a few things about it that I really don't like. Um. Okay, so I guess I guess I'll look into that. It should just be a matter of getting a couple of books in them. If I I reckon if I can get there, even if they need to be fully booked, I've got plenty of epic books right now. I don't love the idea of just flushing them down, but going ahead and getting Iron Twin sorted would be pretty big deal for us so these are kind of starting to pile up a little bit as well so that's pretty nice that's so funny that last night i, I, I forgot because i was even looking i was even googling a little bit to try to see like what is the deal with the demitha um because i think that's the thing a lot of the comments are like you need to get that demitha going Maybe they meant the second Demitha. <laughs> I just forgot I had her. <laughs> but even when I saw the comments that were like double Demitha, blah, 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 I was like, well, I guess I just can't do it yet. And there she was sitting in the vault. So yeah, I don't know. I don't, uh, as far as the fusion is concerned, I'm on the fence. I was going to do it because it was just like, yeah, why not? But... I don't know. I actually don't know. Get, let me know your thoughts in the comments. W are you doing the fusion? Why or why not? And I'll read them and see how I feel. And I reckon by tomorrow we'll we'll need to 
excuse me, have made a decision because it's probably starting very soon. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here for today. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you have a good one. Later.